Are you trying to decide between Maltese and Yorkshire Terrier? Both are popular choices for small and active family companions, and even though they share a lot of similarities, they are not identical. In this video, I will show you all the important differences between Maltese and Yorkies. Let's start with the visual differences and how to recognize these two dogs apart. These two dogs have similar size, body and head type, but thanks to their color, it's actually very easy to distinguish them apart. The Maltese is always in all white color, while the Yorkie comes in shades of brown and black, as well as blue or silver coloring. Both dogs share similar long and flowing coat. The face of both breeds is almost identical, but there is one another important difference. I'm talking about the ears. The Yorkie has erect ears, while the Maltese has floppy ears. When it comes to size, these two dogs are pretty much the same. With average weight around 7 pounds which is 3 kilograms and height around 9 inches which is 23 centimeters. On average the Maltese is a little bit bigger but the difference is unnoticeable. Now you know how to recognize these two dogs apart but the most important differences lie in behavior and temperament. Generally speaking the Maltese is a typical small companion pet. This means that Maltese is trusting, cuddly, affectionate, they enjoy the attention and and they get along with almost anyone. On the other hand, Yorkies has more, let's say, big dog temperament. They are still affectionate and loving with its own family, but they are much more independent, assertive, sometimes territorial, and they need more time to warm up to people. I'm not gonna say which temperament is better, it really depends on your preferences. But if you are looking for a cuddly companion, I would choose a Maltese. But if you are looking for a small dog, which is kind of fearless, independent and adventurous, I would go for Yorkie. Both dogs are moderately active and they will love to go for a longer walk or even hike, but the Yorkie is known for its bursts of energy when they will run around like crazy. The Yorkie is definitely the more energetic one, but as I said, neither of these two dogs are complete couch potatoes and they both enjoy regular physical and mental exercise. Yorkie is also known for barking a little bit more compared to the less yappy Maltese. You should consider all these things and how these personality traits would fit into your lifestyle when choosing between these two cute dogs. Now let's talk about grooming. Both dogs have similar grooming needs that requires quite a lot of attention. Regular brushing is definitely necessary to keep the long coat tangle free. You should also trim the coat from time to time, let's say every 6 to 8 weeks, in order to keep keep it in good condition. Some owners choose to keep their Maltese and Yorkies coat trimmed short for easier maintenance, but be prepared that the grooming will either cost you some time or some money if you will use professional grooming services. And last but not least, let's talk about the health of these two dogs. Both breeds are prone to dental issues, so proper oral hygiene is crucial. Additionally, the Maltese can suffer from eye conditions and respiratory issues, and the Yorkie from patella luxation. On average, both breeds have lifespan around 15 years and both tend to be quite healthy and active even at older age. So as you can see, the main differences are in the temperament and coat color. In other areas, the Maltese and Yorkies are very similar dogs. If you would like to learn more about either of these two dogs, check out our detailed videos about them. Also tell me in comments what is your experience with either Yorkshire Terrier or Maltese and what do you like the most about them? Thank you for watching, see you in the next video.